Hi, I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Dranda Cassie. Welcome to this special edition of Live Free, where we've combined both of our programs to address current issues that are happening right now in the culture. Yes. Today we're going to talk about how to hear, how to get God to hear your prayer. How to hear, yeah, we got to say it right. Yeah. How to get God to hear your prayer. And uh, that may sound kind of strange at first, Dren, but a lot of people need to know that. Mm -hmm. It's true. There's a lot of things. Now, Drenda, you are a passionate prayer warrior. That I am. <laughs> you are known for that. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. I, I love your heart for prayer and people. But uh, recently, uh, you, you prayed over this virus situation in our country. And that video has gone viral with millions of people viewing it. And it is hundreds of thousands or close to a half million a day are, are still adding to that uh, Yeah, that over prayer. four million people have viewed it yeah. and its reach has been it's much just, further than that. Yeah, but, it keeps going. Which blesses me because we all need to be praying. This is a time for prayer. Yeah. And it's sometimes we hear the word prayer and we kind of bristle and think, oh, that sounds lofty or difficult. I don't know about prayer. I don't want to pray. I don't, it sounds religious. And unfortunately the enemy has tried to make the word prayer religious when it's really just a communication, talking to God and receiving from God what we have need of. I love uh, Hebrews says, uh, Hebrews eleven six says, and without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists mm -hmm. and that he rewards those who seek him. So prayer is a place to uh, rela relationally connect with God, to talk to him, to share with him and to get his ear, if you will, and to get his advice, get his help, get his counsel. And there's a whole lot more to that yeah. that I, I want to share through this program. Yeah, I hope so. But, you know, let's answer the, the religious prayer is different than prayer. God even talks about that in the word here. Uh, speaking about prayer, the Bible says uh, in the book of Matthew, it says this in chapter six, verse seven, when you pray, do not keep on babbling like people who don't know God, for they think they'll be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them for God knows what you need before you ask. Mm -hmm. And so then he goes to the Lord's prayer. He teaches us how to pray, which we need to talk about that some because people have that on their wall right. and don't know what really, you know, it, that's, that's an instruction to pray. Right. It's not a, it's not the prayer. It's, it's telling us how to pray. You right. know? So, right. but it, before we get into that, I think, uh, let's just take a look at that video okay. because I think that uh, your passion and uh, your, your prayer is, is just dynamic and, you know, coming against this virus, it's coming against our nation. Let's go to that. Let's take a look at that video. Drenda is praying at the end of one of our church services. Uh, in the, the first part of this virus coming across the nation, uh, we take our stand and she leads the prayer. Let's take a look pray at it Pray with now. me. <laughs> we are going to pray over our nation right now. Yes, Father, right now, in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus, we come to well, you, you Father, honoring your, your word that yes, says, if Father, your people will you humble your themselves goodness, and pray, you would yeah. hear from heaven yes. and heal our land. Father, we humbly yes. seek you in this time. The nation is calling yeah. a crisis. And as your word yeah, says, Father, we, we confess you, our faults that we may be healed. You, we ask you to forgive our nation. Oh, we stand word. on your word, God, as thank believers you. in your covenant, we as those with covenant you. rights. We thank you that we are the righteousness yes. of God in Christ Jesus. There is there, there therefore now no condemnation. So we come boldly before your yes. throne, Father, yes. in time yes. of need to find yes. help. We thank you for your holy anointing that goes through us and prays through us now. In the name of yes. Jesus, we tear down strongholds, evil that has been set up to try to take our nation in a wrong direction. Yeah. We bind Satan now in Jesus' name. We bind this virus. We speak to you, coronavirus, and we command you by the blood of Christ. We adjure you. We command you, get out. Get out of our nation. Get out of the bodies in Jesus' name. We pray your direction, your peace, God, your peace that passes all understanding over this nation. Yes. We thank you, Father, for salvations and revival, that yeah. this nation would be touched by your spirit, Lord, that your glory would be poured out upon this nation. Yes. Your glory would be poured out over yeah. the nations, that your glory, God, your glory, the earth would be filled with your glory. We bind all satanic activity. We bind any lying spirits. We thank you the news of the gospel. Your good news is our news, Lord. We look to your word.
word. We look to your news. We look to your covenant, Father. Thank yeah. you for the covenant that was ratified by the blood of Jesus, that we walk in victory. We walk in peace. Yes. We walk in anointing. We command every yes, lying spirit yes, to be yes, quiet yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We command panic to stop. We speak peace. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. Peace, I give you, Lord. You said, not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled. And we thank you, Father, that we are the church. And in this hour, we will walk in the victory that you've given us. We will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We will speak a word in season. We will speak a word of rest, a word that encourages, a word of good news. We will lead people out of captivity and out of darkness. And salvation, salvation will come to the United States. Thank you, Father. We thank you for a spirit of repentance and a spirit that brings revival and that brings salvation. Hallelujah. Salvation. Yes, Father, we just yes, pray yes, right now. Yes, we thank yes. you. All of our church members are covered by yeah. the blood of Christ. We thank you that our partners are covered. No sickness comes near their dwelling. Yes. No plague comes near them, Father. We thank you, though, a thousand fall at the right or left. It shall not come Amen. near them, Father. We speak yes. a blessing over yes. them, Father. Yes. You've given us authority, and we take that authority. And as their pastors, we speak your blessing over them, that their businesses are blessed. Their finances are blessed. They are provided richly for, and they are a light in a dark world and they walk in the victory that you've already paid for it is finished it is done their victory stands in the blood of jesus christ and we thank you father thank you lord thank you for it in jesus name everybody say amen amen praise you lord hallelujah that was Astounding! Amen. Hey, give me a high five Amen. on that one. Amen. That was a great Praise prayer. The Lord. I, I pray like you that. You were praying with me because that's what happens when yes. we come together. We're two or more agree. The Bible says, "As touching anything, it shall be done." And we pray. Well, we pray that right mm. off, right when this COVID virus, we first got the word, we put mm. that out yes. there uh, because it just was an anointing that came on uh, me to pray yes. that way in service. Mm. And Garrett, I just want to encourage people that. Prayer is the answer. Nothing gets done without prayer. And the Bible says we, we must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder. Yeah. So you come to God in prayer believing he is, he exists, he's real, and that he rewards those who diligently seek him. So when you go into prayer, the prayer of faith, faith says, I believe you, God. I'm persuaded that your word is true. And because I believe you exist and I believe you're going to reward my prayer, I'm going to pray earnestly. Yeah. I'm going to come into the throne room mm. boldly because yes. you can come in boldly when you know right. that he is that he exists and that he's going to reward you now you can come boldly and you're receiving grace and mercy mercy because we've all messed up and so we come in there we get his mercy we get his ear he loves us then we get his grace his power to do what we could not do in and of ourselves so that prayer i prayed i prayed that out of the grace the anointing of god that wasn't me if, if you will i yielded myself to the holy spirit and the holy spirit prayed through me isn't that awesome that god's grace his power on your behalf when you come boldly into his office you come boldly into headquarters mm -hmm. at the throne you're going to find the help you need you're going to get a grace on you you're going to get god dad's ability to do what you could not do in and of yourself. And so now you can come confidently before his throne. You're going to get his mercy. He's not condemning you. He's not upset at you. He's happy to, be, to see yeah, you. Good. That's good. And now you're going to find grace in time of need, power in the time that you need it. And this is a time we need it. Amen. Amen. We do need it. But prayer is based on, it's not begging. Okay. No. And when you talk about prayer, I think we get the image of the religious prayer. And the, the Bible says God already knows what you have need of. Mm -hmm. Pray like this then. So it's not the words. It's not the posture of, of just going through the motions. Right. There is a legal stance. We are yes. children of the house. Yes. We are citizens of the kingdom. Amen. This is a legal issue. This is not a begging issue. God has torn the veil. We come into his presence. He has already given us the entire estate. Right. We already have everything. We don't beg for anything. That's right. We already have, we're co-heirs with Christ. We already yes. have it all. But when we come back, I want to talk about uh, how to step into that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got another funny story I want to talk about yeah. in prayer. But how, how do we get God's ear when we come right back? Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCC.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on 
fixing your money thing, and thanks for watching.